Welcome to my gym. We're going to go over exactly how to keep this gym clean, spotless, and always fun to use. Vacuuming is key in the gym, man. You get all that dust from your clothes, your socks, your shoes. So it's really important, especially when we're doing work on the ground. If we're doing planks or push ups and our face is close to that ground, I don't want to be breathing any of that stuff in. I don't want my clients to be re breathing that in. I don't want it in my garage. So it's really important to make sure that we get rid of that dust and that dirt in the garage. Now, it's also important, guys, when we're vacuuming that you guys see this form I have. The form I have is immaculate, it's amazing form, right? But what I'm going to show you guys is probably the best form you'll ever see. This is how you should vacuum. This is the proper way to vacuum. You guys can see I'm getting every spot in my garage and it's just really important to make sure you don't miss a spot. If you don't vacuum this way, you're definitely not vacuuming correctly. I really hope guys that you can find a way to vacuum better, something similar to this, because this is how you're going to be able to cover everything in your, your space that needs to be vacuumed. So make sure you're doing it this way. Again, if you're not doing that way, then I don't know. Time to clean. So what we got to do is we got to get a clean cloth and a dry cloth. We need to apply it to the cloth of course this is going to be our wet cloth because that's the one with the liquid on it you want to you know really rub it in you don't want to miss anything i usually do circular motions but as long as you get the whole pad of the equipment because these are the parts that you're touching right and with leather you really want to make sure that you keep that leather alive i always use my workout bench so it's really important that i clean it it's probably the most used piece of equipment in my whole gym so you guys can see i'm going really hard on this like i'm angry but i'm not angry don't worry and i'm just putting a little bit more because i ran out like it once you're rubbing it in and you can feel that there's less and less liquid you got to apply more so keep that in mind my leg press with gym equipment it's really expensive so you want to take good care of it and make sure that you get every part when cleaning it and also maintaining so for example if a thread's hanging out i like to trim it when i first got this equipment it was so filthy it honestly looked more yellow than white never give up guys keep believing we use the dry cloth to make sure that the, none of that leftover liquid is on it too much because i'm going to use it later and i don't want to be slipping off the machine my leg extension as you guys can see i'm cleaning literally everything in my gym and i want you guys to remember that with the leather if you see indents like you can see one at the bottom there it's okay because you can replace it through upholstery which costs more money but at the same time i'm trying to save money here now we're using that dry cloth to keep off everything we just put on we just don't want to have too much of it right so i don't want to be slipping and sliding off like i'm at a water park and this bottom part's important to get as well make sure you keep turning it to get all sides then apply the dry cloth to all sides again this took me a million tries to get them properly but don't worry about it now that we we got it in we apply it to the machine you want to apply it to all sides you don't want to do just one side i'm going to go over to the other side i'm going to apply here i want to make sure that it's all lubricated then i'm going to move it up and down and make sure that lubricant moves through the machine because we want the machine to be nice and smooth so when you're training it actually helps also keeps the machine alive longer longevity baby lubricate both metal bars and this is going to allow the weight to move evenly at the same time because this machine the leg press pushes the weight off both together at the same time so we want to make sure that it flows together and again I'm doing that backside because I want all sides of the metal bar to work nicely and apply more if you need to. This part didn't work. Since I'm not seven feet tall, I couldn't get it to blow all the way through. So what I did was I got off the leg press and I actually had to manually push it. So I had to get all the way back because with my leg press, I can have someone really, really tall on it, like seven foot on it. So I had to make sure that I got through the whole thing. So I'm just pushing it back and forth, back and forth. And it is heavy, man. It really is. So it looks tough, even though it looks like there's no weight on it. It's really heavy pushing it back and forth because it's all metal i applied wd-40 to the bottom here for the adjustments because if you're taller than me or shorter than me i want to have it set to the right height so you can train your legs to the max potential right so i'm showing you guys now after that i applied the wd-40 it flows really really nicely and i'm able to just move it nice and easily think of weight equipment like a car take out the bad oil put the good oil in that was tiring but we keeping it clean please like comment and subscribe have yourself a great day